We have an unexpected guest, Lestage. My attempts to use the Orb of Discourse to locate Saisahan did not meet with success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended, and contacted Abnathan. He admits that he knows Saisahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. Menimarko and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahan. Of course I do. And I might be willing to share that information for a price. If Manimarko learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. Therefore I, Abner Thahn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location in return. You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan, and I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. Thahn is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Saisahan, we must do this. Go with the Vestas, Viris. Rescue Tharn. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise... You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shantytown of Solshriven outside Menemarko's castle. As luck would have it, Menemarko is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. What a skeever. Improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. I'll butcher these worms that stack their corpses so high, Malakath himself couldn't see over them. That's easy. All you've got to do is get captured, killed, and stuffed into a soul gem like yesterday's laundry. If you're serious, Cadwell can probably get you in. Might be too late, though. They just chased him into the guardhouse. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He certainly does get around.
I say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? Dibella's garters, why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there and we'll see what's what? That might be our best chance to get inside. Leave it to the Daedra to fill a cave with bones and muck. You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated, but in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep and you can slip inside. Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? Ah! Onward! Ha-ha! <laughs> Shut 
do it. There you are. Quick as you please. There's even time for tea. A pleasure thinking nothing of it. The merest trifle, truly. You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. Sir Cadwell came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on me. Should I be worried? None. The one on the throne is a patsy, and the one in the tower isn't useful anymore. That's not even funny. Get back to work, would you? What? It's true. Lord Manamarco is gonna peel his skin off and make a particularly ugly flesh Atronach out of him. Mark my words. And if you don't help me, I'll make sure you're sewn up right alongside him. Now shut up! You, hurry up. The worms are on the move. There you are. I was beginning to think you were captured. We've a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. But here's a thought. The flesh atronachs that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own atronach, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrier. It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through it. You'll need some good-sized chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you there. I can't imagine how the worms get used to this. Is it? It takes a lot to make me ill, but this is getting there. Body parts won't smell as bad.
very big, is it? Oh well. Now, cast the ritual from the book. make a necromancer of you yet. You're not far now. Through the door and to the summit. Insufferable worms. I'm working as fast as I can. So, we meet in person at long last. You look taller in your projection. And not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem, I'd have thrown myself from the tower. A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Bar. His ultimate plan is to out-scheme the God of Schemes and to replace him. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him, trying to get him to reveal the Amulet's hiding place. Precisely. With the amulet at his command, Manimarko believes he can trap Molag Baal's essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. I'd love to discuss this further, but this is hardly the place. Get me to a safe haven and I will tell you the rest. That was our agreement, was it not? Now, let's... Wait. Did you feel that? Now, now, Thar. No telling my secrets. Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. Ah, dear Lyris. Your old position at the Foundry is still available. We'll even give you your own set of unbreakable chain. And you. The thorn in my side. The pebble in my shoe. How strong are you? Oh, we test your oh, infuriating. The process drains the energy from most victims, yet you keep fighting. Much more can you take, I wonder. Man 
Animarco. You dare attack the Chancellor of the Elder Council. How dare you betray me, Zahn! Your suffering will be legendary. He will not remain discorporated for long. His consciousness will be adrift for a few moments, but that is all. Because Marco has delusions of godhood. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. I've never done battle with him before. He's far more powerful than I imagined. Oh well. Too late for regrets. In for a bean, in for a beanstalk. First things first. We need to get out of here alive. We certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. You must be the ugliest princess ever rescued from a tower, Tharn. Hmm. I'm shocked your lack of education and repeated blows to the head haven't dulled your wit. Titanborn. Hello again. Need a way out? I'll have that open in just a moment. Okay, preserve us. You're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. Bit of the old daring do, was it? No matter. You'll be needing an escape route, no doubt. Well, it's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire castle is as bristly as a sack of sewing needles after all that noise. Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do you, do you think it's wise? Well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all, you do need someone to lead you out of here. Onward! Into the chute, come on! Quickly! I've opened another portal. Hurry! My estates, my titles, my own life, it's all forfeit now. All in the name of preserving the Empire. I swear by all the gods, Menemarka will pay dearly for this. Of course. I am Abnathan. It will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. Now then, where were we? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarko's prisoner, and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. What? You son of a bitch! Huh. Ah! Are you insane? Get away from me, you brutish she-troll! Lewis, stand down. He's done nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarco's toady. Please. Menemarco wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings and your own hide, you pompous ass. 
Enough! Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come for the Vestige to know the truth. What's this? The Vestige doesn't know? Oh, this is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige, until now, you've only known me as the Prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Emperor, in the tattered robes of a moth priest, blind as a newborn kitten. I am sorry I deceived you, Vestige. You are angry. It is to be expected. I was once, but no more. My name is Baron Aquilarius. In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. I caused this, all of this. If Merlock Ball destroys this world, the blame will be mine, and mine alone. You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector, but she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestridge. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. We must find Sysa Han. Everything depends on that. In this matter, nothing. Abner and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not foresee Abner's defection, but I welcome it. Manamako fears him, and with good reason. He can help us. I feel certain of it.